This is the Savvy Investor Radio Show and Podcast with Mike Kinnett and Ryan Herbert of Prostatus Financial, now celebrating 20 years helping families build successful retirements and lasting family legacies. Mike is a financial planner and estate planning attorney with a master's degree in tax and four-time Amazon best-selling author. Ryan is a five-star wealth management award winner and top-ranked financial advisor by Forbes. Now, the Savvy Investor Radio Show and Podcast. So as we're talking about what's happening uh, in the world today, you know, retirees, they're, they're getting a little anxious because we're seeing all the unrest uh, now in college campuses. An upcoming election uh, and every election that, that we always hear, it's, it's the most important one, so on and so forth. And Mike, I know this is going to just hit your, <laughs> your, your, your button, uh, out of control government spending. There's a lot of things that are happening right now in the world. And the bottom line is, is that uh, retirees either that are, are retired right now are starting to get worried and they could, hey, what's happening here? Or someone is getting ready to retire, thinking about it and saying, oh my God, what's going on? So I found this interesting that investor Warren Buffett um, he doesn't let the headlines affect his investment choices. As a matter of fact, he says, uh, I don't think I can make money by predicting what's going on uh, on the next week or month. But I do think I can make money by predicting what's going to happen in the next 10 years. So do you guys agree with this? Is, is this a pretty good, you know, long view look at investing? Yeah, I think Warren and I went to the same stock picking school together and, and Ryan, we went to the same <laughs> stock picking school because, you know, what Warren didn't tell you is that they actually give you a crystal ball coming out of stock picking school. And and like Warren, I, I guess he, his got dropped. I brought my kids to work one day. They were playing with it and it dropped on the ground. So now it's just yes, no, maybe. But <laughs> a, a, absolutely. Absolutely. The, the, the idea that anybody knows what exactly is going to happen in the market on any given day. It's, it's always amazing when you listen to the reason why the stock market went up or when the stock market went down, you, you're always hearing the stock market went up today because something related to oil. The stock market went down because it was related to oil. So on Monday, oil prices came down, so the stock market went up. But on Tuesday, oil prices went up, so the stock market went down. And, and it's literally the same dollar, right? It went up a dollar, it went down a dollar, and the market reacts crazy. And people come in, especially as of late. I mean, there, obviously, there's a lot of turmoil going on now. People are very concerned about what exactly is the election mm -hmm. going to look like. And, you know, if you lean left, you lean right. At the end of the day, I, I've said it over and over again, Tweedledee and Tweedledum, I don't care which direction you, you, you lean politically. The fact is, is that if you're a Republican, when you're in control, you spend like drunken sailors and the Democrats piss and moan about it. And when you, if you're a Democrat, you know, when you're in power, you spend like drunken sailors and the Republicans piss and, piss and moan about it. I mean, either way, they're not good stewards with their money. If you think about this, you know, George II, right? George II put, I don't know, better part of $7 trillion on the deficit. Obama put $8 trillion on the deficit. They did it in eight years each. Trump put six trillion in four years. I have all the confidence in the world that Biden's going to put five to ten trillion on it over his four or eight year uh, tenure, whatever it turns out to be. Either way, they are poor stewards with our money, and from our perspective, we should stop giving it to them. Which is why we're, we're big proponents of, of of tax planning. But more to your point, Warren Buffett's point: the, the the fact is, is that you're right. We can't determine exactly where the stock market is going to be. So for our perspective, for the money that you need to live on, mm -hmm. why, why have to worry about that speculation? Why worry about, uh, you know, now we're getting the, the people that come into the office like, well, I want to put all my money in gold and, and, and precious metals. And, and, and I, our, our response yeah. is always like, uh, well, maybe toilet paper, guns, bullets, and water might be a better place than, I mean, if you think the world's going to fall apart. But because you're going to need to protect the gold, right? Right, right. You're going to need. To <laughs> and, and, and who wants to buy a bunch of? I mean, who wants a bunch of gold if if yeah. it comes to that point? I, I really, I want water and toilet paper. I mean, I'm I'm a princess, and I want some <laughs> some future comfort comforts. Um, the, the idea of using a, a leaf is not uh, on my priority list. But 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 the reality is, is you know, everybody that comes in, everybody that sits down, everybody that's worked twenty and thirty and forty years. You all have the same goal in mind that the money that you have saved, right? And I don't care, you know, wealth is all relative. We hear, you know, high net worth individuals and, and, and rich people. We hear that terminology, but wealth is really, that, that's a personal number, right? If you grew up dirt poor and you have $100,000, that's a big number. If, mm -hmm. if you grew up in middle class and you have a million dollars, that's a big number. But, but the reality is, is that 
everybody who has worked, everybody who has saved, everybody who has made smart choices along the way, they did it specifically so that they would have the, the retirement that they envisioned, right? They, they did it in such a way that they wanted to make sure they had enough money to get through retirement. And, and if you're finding yourself in that spot where you're thinking, do I have enough money to get through retirement? Do I have the money in the right spot to make it through retirement? If you are worried that this election year is going to cause ripples in your retirement plan, Sit down with Ryan, myself, on our team, and we will show you how to create income streams that you will never outlive. We will talk to you about how much you're paying in fees, the risk you're taking. We'll talk to you about long-term care, estate planning, taxes, taxes, taxes. You can go to our website, and right there up on the on the column up top, right on the bar up top, there's a little place that says, contact us, set an appointment. We will sit down with you. We'll do an income plan for you. We'll do a tax plan. We'll talk to you about Social Security. And the beautiful thing about that at the SavvyInvestorRadio.com, again, the SavvyInvestorRadio.com, when you go, like Mike said, you click on whether it's the 401k x-ray or the income analyzer, you can uh, basically go on to their calendar, their calendar where it's live and you can pick a time that's going to work best for you that's available for them. It's very easy and it's, uh, you know, no obligation, a 15-minute phone conversation with Mike, with Ryan, with Lawrence, with the team at ProStatus, the SavvyInvestorRadio.com, the SavvyInvestorRadio.com. As we're talking about our 401k and this being a, a, a volatile year with everything that's going on uh, in the world today, Ryan, we talked about Warren Buffett that he says he doesn't make uh, money or investment advice based on a week or a month, but more 10 years. You guys aren't also saying just leave your money in this place and don't do anything. I think you have to be uh, active and take a tactical approach at investing, correct? You don't just set it and forget it. Right. It's not a buy and hold strategy. And I think it's, it's okay. kind of ironic at this point that Warren Buffett talks about 10 years when he's 93 years old. Um, <laughs> so, you know, I would say that his his time horizon for the money is, is significantly shorter, but, you know, it, it really is all of the volatility. There's always volatility in the market. There's always unease going on somewhere in the world. So there's always going to be that worry of, is my money in the right place? Is it working as best as it can for me now? Am I going to have enough in retirement? And then how do I really make it last in retirement? And just last week, I was sitting down in, in our Towson office with um, a client of mine, Mike, and we were talking, he came, he came from the radio show, he heard mm -hmm. Mike and I on the radio show, and he heard us talking about creating income streams that you can't outlive that are unaffected by the overall stock market. And so we were sitting down, we were discussing how much income he and his wife needed to have to live on for the rest of their life. And between the two of them, they had saved about one and a half million dollars in their, their various 401ks and, and mm -hmm. retirement accounts. And I was sitting down with the two of them and, and showing them, you want to have this $120,000 a year of income during retirement. And we were sitting down and I was showing them, we can use the overall stock market. You can take just the generic financial advisor approach, have your money out there in the stock market, need to earn five to 6% on your money, and you can have your $120,000 a year. Of their one and a half million dollar nest egg, that was going to take about $1.4 million of what they had. So $1.4 million was all dedicated to the income side of things. Mm -hmm. And they only had $100,000 extra. And they still had all the headaches of the market of worrying about, is Putin going to do this? Who's going to win the election? What's going on in Ukraine? What's going on over in, in the Middle East? They still had all that worry. And then we showed them, let's take all that uneasiness out of the market. Let's get a guaranteed income stream for you in retirement. Something that says, no matter what happens in the stock market, no matter what happens in, in the economy, you're going to have the income that you're going to need for the rest of your life. Let's take this $1.5 million and set it up so that we're going to have our $120,000 a year. And so instead of taking 1.4 million of his 1.5, we ended up using about $560,000 of that 1.5 million and put it into a vehicle that said, no matter what happens, by the time we reach 2030, because that was when they wanted to retire, that's when they wanted to turn the income stream on, it's going to give you the income you need so that between your social security, your pension, and your investments, you're going to have $120,000 a year 
of after tax money adjusted for inflation, adjusted mm. for inflation, you know, and, you know, that was factoring in the taxes. But then on top of that, I went back and said, all right, now that we've made sure we've used 560,000 of your of your one point five million dollars and you're never going to run out of money in retirement because of the way we're doing this. Let's look at a tax efficient approach to this. Let's start doing Roth conversions on all this one and a half million dollars. So that way, by the time we get to your age, 75, they were 64 and 63. By the time we get to age 65, you're now bringing in that same $120,000 a year, but you're doing it at 0% taxes. Talking about um, Warren Buffett and his investment philosophy and what's going on in the world today, many of you may be listening thinking, hey, I want to retire, but I'm a little nervous because of what's going on in the world today, college uh, protests and so on and so forth, elections, uh, government spending, so on and so forth. But Warren Buffett looks at it from a 10-year view in investing. But Ryan, you brought up a good point when you said Warren Buffett is 90. So his 10-year view, is it going to reach 10 years? So talk to those folks that are getting, uh, you know, close to, uh, you know, that age, perhaps they're already retired. What age should they start thinking differently about uh, about that 10 year view is, is should they shorten that up? It's kind of a morbid thing here, but, uh, you know, some, you know, may not have 10 years when they retire. Well, I think in terms of how Warren Buffett is speaking, what he's saying is don't pay attention to everything that's happening right now in okay. the world with any, with any type of unrest or any type of government spending, because in the long run, things will kind of even out in the long run. You know, historically, the stock market does seven to 10 percent over time. That's not the case. But, you know, in the long run, these things are really short term factors on what's going on in the market. So, you know, while you shouldn't, you know, you want to think of it as I want to have my money in the safest place available. What Warren Buffett is saying is do not make gut reactions based mm. on something that you see in the news. Don't make gut reactions on something that you see just happening tomorrow or thinking about a month ahead. Any money that you're going to live on for retirement, that should be as safe and secure as possible. And then any money, the extra money, that can be as aggressive as you want it to be or as conservative as you want it to be because you've taken those steps. Take the worry of the stock market out of your retirement plan. Take the worry of the stock market out of your income plan in retirement. That really is the message. I guess I, I could ask, Ed, the older you get, the less risk you should take on. But the older I get, I don't want to worry about that. Uh, I want you guys to handle that. <laughs> I want to go out and have a good time uh, and enjoy my money. And that's what you guys do uh, so well at Pro Status uh, Advisors Group. So whether you're 50, 60, 70, so on and so forth, uh, they can certainly uh, help you and reach those retirement dreams. And you can get started today with the 401k X-ray and Income Analyzer. Go to the SavvyInvestorRadio.com. Again, that's the SavvyInvestorRadio.com front page. Click on the 401k x-ray button and that will get you to a schedule and calendar uh, that can schedule a 15-minute phone conversation with Mike, with Ryan and the team at ProStatus. As always, Mike and Ryan, you guys uh, get the final word. This is Ryan Herbert. Thank you so much for listening to the Savvy Investor Radio and podcast. This is Mike Kinnett. We'll see you, the Savvy Investor, next week. Advisory services offered through ProStatus Financial Advisors Group, a registered investment advisor, insurance licensed in Maryland. ProStatus Financial Advisors Group, LLC, is not licensed in all 50 states. To find out if ProStatus Financial Advisors Group is licensed in your state, please call 410-863-1040. ProStatus Group, LLC, is not affiliated with nor endorsed by the Social Security Administration or any other government agency and does not provide legal or tax advice. Annuity guarantees rely solely on the financial strength and claims-paying ability of the issuing insurance company. By contacting us, you may be provided with information about insurance and annuity products offered through representatives of ProStatus Financial Advisors Group.